Yeah, Ouen was just making last second corrections. The French bowman on the left of the picture just before the start there. And they're going to go up hard on it. They're the lightweights there. A lot lighter than the, the, the Kiwi crew you see. What are they going to use in their bag of tricks to get upon this heavier double? Probably a bit of a raid. Well, it's no surprise to see the Kiwis rate high. These two men, John Story and Chris Harris, were in the same group as Robbie Manson. Uh, three of them were training for the double and the single. Of course, Robbie Manson took the single slot and then posted that magical time in Poznan 6.30. He's not here because of an injury. We're all disappointed about that. But boy, are we been treated to something special with Chris Harris and John Story. Two men at the top of their game racing the French lightweight Olympic champions. They'll have to weigh in at an average of around about 70 kilos. And the two Kiwis, of course, probably something like 15 kilos a man, bigger. Yeah, and you can see that here now, the, the sl slide out to about half a length lead. But it's a long way down this course. Hopefully the French can show us what they've got through the middle. French really right at the top of their game. They're really putting everything into the first part of their race. They will have looked at the splits in this, the, the times down the course. They know what it was in Poznan. They were in different races there. The French won the lightweights. They beat the Irish and the Poles. And the New Zealanders beat the Norwegians and the Poles in the heavyweights. But uh, the Kiwis were about a second quicker to 500. I think they're slightly more coming through that marker now. So what is it, Martin, that you like about this French double? I know you're a big fan. Well, I think the French double haven't been at the top of their game here at Henley. I think they're really, really being pushed. And I think normally in lightweight rowing, you just see a little more fluidity up the body, a little more flexibility. They're really on it on the front end. I think they're slightly rushing that front end to what they normally do. The, 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 the sort of water generally sucks out the blades. You can see Pierre Oren going a little more deep. And I just think they have tested themselves by going up against the best heavyweights in the world. So they are really on the edge, on the margin. And if you scull on the edge, you're going to fall off and make mistakes. It'll, you, you'll get that pace from doing it. But, I, you know, I've just noticed that about them this week. And of course, these crews are going to Lucerne in a week's time. Yeah, both of them in their respective contests. That's why the French lightweights won't, in effect, have been able to bulk up for this uh, Double Skulls final or Double Skulls contest at Henley. Race being umpired, I think, by Gwyn Batten there. So this long shot, you can see the New Zealand double there. John Story was in the quad, finished out of the finals, the quad that qualified for the Olympics at the last minute because of the controversy that happened with the Russian doping. And Chris Harris was in a double that was uh, blindingly fast in Poznan just before the Rio Olympics. Um, and then, unfortunately, Chris Harris developed Tino. He's subsequently had an operation. He's really felt like a man reborn since then. And uh, you can see the impact on the pace of the boat, Jess, because uh, they were way back in that small final in the Olympics. You'd think that Harris and Manson might have, you know, blown the world apart, even gone head to head with the Croatians that took gold there, but it wasn't to be. He's well, back. you can see now, Martin, the year after the Olympics, the Kiwis have really come out in force and they got a very strong squad. Yeah, it's been a fantastic uh, introduction to the European season of racing for the New Zealanders. They took that uh, World Cup title, won so many events in Poznan two weeks ago. The French have hung in there, though, and they have made an impressive sort of second quarter of the race. Really just about got a length clear the New Zealanders. And you're not going to feel too happy still if you're the New Zealanders there, sitting just about a length up. You almost want to shut the door on the crew behind you you wouldn't feel too comfortable in that position, would you? No, and I think in these tailwind conditions, I mean, you know, you always think that tailwind is going to favour the lighter men or the lighter crews. And in these fast conditions, you know, the French are going to think, well, we might still be in there with a shout. And, um, you know, Jérôme Azou, he's so quick in a single skull. He'd probably be the quickest si single sculler of the, of the four men here. He's posted 6.47 in the French trials. And uh, I'm not sure if either John Story, furthest away from you, or Chris Harris, Instead of mark as quick as that. Maybe they have done. I might be doing you a disservice, but uh, if you've got that speed in the boat on your left, a zoo looking round, you don't often see him looking round, do you, Jess? No, and this is something you get from the match racing. We keep talking about the one-on-one -on -one racing is a completely kettle of fish. 
that's why it attracts so many crews coming here, racing each other one-on-one, -on -one, match racing is brilliant for Gatineau. Don't see the Kiwi coach, Calvin Ferguson, in the boat, following them down. He's probably listening to the race on the bank, the commentary, or listening to us talking about it. And the Kiwis have stretched out. That is a race-winning lead as far as I'm concerned. There's no way back to that brilliant French double from that position. And it's been yet another commanding performance from the New Zealanders. Well, there Early you go. That's, that's shutting the door a bit more now, moving out to almost two, two lengths. John Story and Chris Harris have already got this now. Earlier this morning, Donahue and Lowe won the women's double skulls. And it looks like it's going to be a 1-2 for New Zealand in the men's double skulls if this race continues to play out as it looks down the enclosure. A little bit of steering problems there with the Kiwis, but uh, nothing to worry the umpires. You can see they've got a big lead. They can enjoy this now. They should really suck up the atmosphere of being at Henley. You can hear the crowds clapping them in. It's really, really high-class international racing. Yeah, the New Zealanders have done damage in the middle, and they'll want to really press on through this last part of the race. Don't have times here in the commentary box, but the record was set in 2015 by Thompson and Thompson, 6.48. We'll see if that record's in danger. We have seen records fall this afternoon. The last few strokes... The New Zealand double from the Avon and Wanganui clubs representing the Wairiki Rowing Club New Zealand here at Henley. See the French double there, they're not quite giving up. Would they be using this now as a training exercise for next week? Well, I think they've just tested themselves against the world's fastest. I mean, they're giving away a massive amount of kilos a man, but uh, the Kiwis won't have taken anything for granted. Story and Harris record a win in the double skulls over Uar and Azu. So, I think they're sat there, probably going to congratulate their French opponents on a tough contest. But uh, the French went out really quickly, and I think there was that margin that the French didn't have. Normally in lightweights, when they're racing sort of people of a similar weight, they're just that little bit more fluid, a little bit more relaxation. Well, they did comment that they found it a bit washy here yesterday. Maybe the smaller frames, not quite as big, and as beefy to roll through that wash. But... They can test themselves against the, their own category next week. So we're hearing that the winning time was 6.49. That's just one second, Jess, outside that world record we were talking about, which was set not by Thompson Smith, I got that wrong, but by another Kiwi crew, Arms and Robbie Manson, in 2013, 6.48 that was.